Ja, good morning, Ilse. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Where do you live? Your age, your current situation? Okay. Uh, so, I'm uh, living in Innsbruck, Austria. And I'm 61 years old and I just got retired from my job as a teacher just yesterday. And I do also studies in process work and I want to work on this now and I'm looking forward to my new situation now. Mm -hmm. So you have been working a long time as a teacher and you're happy to be retired. How was it to be a teacher? What did you find difficult? Uh, first, I want maybe I want to tell what I like. Yeah, if, sure. If possible. Uh, I really like to work with the kids. I had kids from 14 to 18 and it's sometimes a challenge, but I, I really like them. Uh, but what was difficult was to uh, cope with the system to uh, like the schedules and no breaks in between and always being present and uh, it happened to me that i couldn't uh, get as much en energy as i spent so at the end of the year i was always tired and i couldn't really manage this mm -hmm. and i think it's also part of the system mm. mm -hmm. yeah. and you're not only a teacher you are also a mother and even grandmother yes i have three uh, daughters they are already they are already grown up and i have one grandson mm. and we also have uh, a new child uh, boy from Afghanistan who lives with us at the moment. Can you say more about that? This is a, a asylum seeker or who yes, is Yes, he this is an asylum seeker and now he is living here, has been living for one year in our house. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's, it's also a kind of challenge. It's nice, but also challenge because they are the cultures are so different and uh, but i think it's good yeah, yeah. how old is this uh, he's 19 19 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so you have a, still another child on your table also yes, your daughters have kind gone. of yeah kind he of. doesn't yeah. know things that should be known so our kids know but he for example doesn't know that he has to brush his teeth in the evening or mm -hmm. or uh, doesn't know enough about sexuality and things yeah so it's like having another child having a new child and you just find out that he doesn't know you didn't expect that he doesn't know yes. yeah. yeah so it's yeah. a lot of uh, a big responsibility you you have in a way yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. he's uh, already uh, self-responsible mm -hmm. too so yeah i take, don't take it too hard yeah why did you take a, a young man or a young person to so, into your house? Mm -hmm. We worked in, uh, me and my husband, we worked in refugee camps in Greece. And I also work with refugees in Innsbruck, giving them German lessons. And I'm very into this subject. And also my, my son-in-law is from Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I very much feel with those people who have to leave their home and uh, have nobody who likes them very often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you are an active part of supporting refugees. Yes, in Europe. I mm -hmm. think we are really on the lucky side here in Middle Europe. Yeah. 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 So uh, how let's uh, go to another topic which is about women. How would you describe the situation for women in the place where you live in Austria or Innsbruck? Mm -hmm. so and especially also if you look back, was there a change from your youth to now and how is it now? Mm -hmm. So if I uh, go 
from here to back uh, at the moment I think compared to other parts of the world it's like paradise <laughs> but it also uh, could be better I, I also see there is still uh, injustice I didn't uh, experience it so much myself but I see women who don't earn the same for the same work and mm -hmm. I think it's still like this and in former days uh, when I think about uh, the mother of my husband for example she was always the servant for her husband and uh, yeah she she wouldn't eat if he is not yet home and and she wouldn't go swimming because she has to cook for him and so but uh, that's not my experience just what i mm -hmm. what i watch okay. uh, uh, i for myself hmm. yeah uh, at the moment i i feel uh, i now got retired and I'm a little bit afraid that I become the housewife uh, mm -hmm. just because I'm at home and it's my only my part and I don't like this yeah 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 you yeah. want to live your independent life yes. what do you see how your three daughters are coping with their lives as women uh, I think they are doing it quite well like uh, my daughter who has the child they are really she has an Afghan husband but they are really I think they are making half half mm -hmm. uh, really mm -hmm. they are making it yes she is just going and doing her things and uh, uh, and he accepts it. Be and it's a different culture it. for him. Oh, it's yes. not the culture for him. So I think exactly. it must have been a big learning. But yeah. uh, he is open. And I think many Austrian men could uh, learn things from him. From him, yeah. Um, my other daughters are also very independent. Like uh, the middle daughter is making many things uh, that are man's domain mm -hmm. like she is going on a montage and uh, they are mounting climbing walls and she she's very sportive and active and uh, she and independent uh, mm -hmm. like like a man yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think yeah. So you did a good job in educating them. Uh, uh, I think they did it themselves. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm not sure that I did. Yeah, yeah. Did it? Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the uh, oldest one, uh, she is at the moment a little bit uh, in the problem of uh, she wanted to have a child, mm. uh, but. Uh, her boyfriend didn't want it now and for women it's yeah, I think it's the biological clock yeah, yeah it's a biological clock so yeah. uh, and men don't see that yeah, yeah. so they separated uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. in the country of you you celebrate your 30th wedding day next yeah, in Week, two weeks. In two yes, weeks. Yes, yeah. we are. Yeah, we are very long married. No. Do you have a tip how you keep your marriage healthy and and ongoing? Uh -huh. uh, I think it's uh, going with conflicts and making new things out of conflicts. Mm. So not mm -hmm. avoiding them, but. Uh, uh, taking what comes out of conflict if mm -hmm. you really mm -hmm. work with them. Nice, so conflict as a source of renovation. Yes, of... yes. Yeah. Nice, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, Ilse, at this moment, what would you say, is there something you find uh, challenging 
or a bit difficult to deal with at this moment of your life? Mm, for me, it's challenging. Uh, uh, I want to go on this new field, working with process work and body mm -hmm. work. And for me, it's challenging and, and it always was challenging to go out and present and say, I have to offer mm -hmm. this and, and mm -hmm. people come. <laughs> to sell yourself, uh, so yeah, to, to speak, sell myself, or to yes, sell your yeah, capacities. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. my challenge, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I didn't have to do it as teacher. Yeah, yeah, I understand. And what do you find uh, rewarding? What do you love about your life right now? Mm, uh, at, at the moment. So this is my first weekday without having to go to work. Uh, I really... Uh, it's very nice to have no pressure. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and yeah. to make up this my new situation schedule like mm -hmm. I want and yes yeah uh -huh. my freedom uh -huh. my freedom yeah, yeah. yes yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. and going for new things new ideas yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. so and uh, my last question would be uh, what is your tip for women oh. a tip for, tip for, for women, women. Yeah. in general Uh, maybe uh, I I would say just be a human being and not uh, uh, say I'm woman or I'm man. So it's very important to just be yourself and. And do what you ever always wanted to do. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you have time to do that, really. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ilse, for this yeah, interview. You're welcome. Thank you.